In our last video, we looked at using the program XClip, which if you don't have installed, check your package manager, if you're on a Debian-based system, apt, aptitude, apt, get, install, XClip. Uh, and that application allows us to uh, take, um, sorry, brain cramp there for a second, take the output of a command and pipe it into it or give it some sort of text or a file and put that information that we have that we can generate or get with our script and put it into your clipboard. Well, what if you want to get what's in the clipboard and do something with it? Uh, and it's actually very simple. So again, uh, if you've watched the last two videos, which I hope you have, uh, we're looking at um, clipboards and on Linux, you have multiple, uh, you have too many of your primary and secondary. So for example, just to review, if as soon as I highlight something, it's copied to one of my clipboards. If I right click, right click and say copy, or I control C or control shift C in the shell, um, it adds it to you to my other clipboard. So now both clipboards have the same thing, but if I just highlight fort here, now if I control shift V or if I right click and say paste, it's gonna paste what's in one clipboard, but if I sec uh, second click, uh, center click, which in my case is my uh, scroll wheel, if I click it down, it's gonna paste what's in my other clipboard. Uh, so we have those two clipboards, but how do we get those with a script? Well, using xclip is as simple as doing dash lowercase o. And we do that, and you can see fort. That's what's in my selection clipboard. So now if I was to highlight uh, metal here and run that command again, see, as soon as it's highlighted, my script can pull it. I didn't have to do anything. If I highlight this and run that, boom, it grabs what's been highlighted. If I want to grab from the other clipboard, just as we're putting into the other clipboard, I can do dash selection dash C for my clipboard. And now it's going to sh display what's inside my other clipboard. So again, I can just do this. That's one clipboard and that's what's in the other clipboard. And this is again, very useful. Uh, I have, as you'll see in the videos coming up, uh, a lot of cases where I am going to um, highlight something, highlight some text, a URL or something. And then I'm gonna run a command uh, that's going to do something with that text. Uh, so that's what we're going to be working in. So, but you need to know how to put things into the clipboard and how to retrieve things from the clipboard. Uh, and again, you have the two clipboards to work with, your primary and secondary clipboard and your selection clipboard. Uh, and I just wanted to take a moment to do that. So let's say I wanted to put that into a variable just to take this a step further. Uh, so what? just like any other example, uh, doing this and giving it a variable. So I'll just say clip equals. So now clip will equal the, the output of that. So now if I echo dollar sign clip, it can display that. So I can now, let's do something like, um, I don't know, I'll just, just highlight all this. So I'll highlight all this and then I'll run this command that puts it into the clip variable. And now I can say echo your clipboard selection, if I could type today, is dollar sign clip. Boom, and it tells me what's in there. And if I want, I can put single quotes around this so it stands out a little bit. Uh, or I can say something like, you highlighted that. So now, whatever I highlight, I can highlight this. And what I can do is I can put these two commands on the same line for this, but in a script, you can have them on multiple lines. So we'll go this, and then I'll do a new command. So now I did something wrong here. Or no, is that what I have highlighted? So now I can highlight this and run it. You highlighted you. Selection, you highlighted selection. You highlighted clipboard. You highlighted your clipboard is what this should say. So it's kind of a short one, but just taking XClip a step further. So we've been able to put things in the clipboard. We've been able to pull things out from the clipboard. And now we're gonna start putting everything together. I do thank you for watching. Uh, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.